we are back at it today the great pumpkin has arrived at our house so we are getting ready to work more on the sawmill side shed and welcome to october 2020 back at the hay barn building the sawmill side shed I have this side completed. There's what the inside looks like. And uh, got the pillars drilled, poured, ready to go. And of course, here's the sheep. They want to hang out with me. Let's focus in on This pier, adjust my camera here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to start off with is just do a center hole, an eight inch piece of rebar and then peg the bottom of the post to put it into place. And then I've got some uh, angle iron brackets that I'll fix to the pillar itself and then to the post. These may look high, of course they are. <clears throat> kind of windy today, but my intention is to build up the whole inside of this and uh, level it off with some gravel and then pour a concrete slab on the whole inside of this new sawmill side shed and just a large concrete slab it'll it'll be a while before I get that done so now it's time to get the tractor out get the trailer out uh, get the boards I need for bracing up the posts and then we'll get the beams put on next.
Well, we're back here at the kiln unloading it to resaw these boards down to a seven inch wide for the rafters uh, for the sawmill side shed behind us. And um, I've got some really nice wide boards in here. They're all pine. But what I will do is take, there's three nice wide ones. If I don't have enough, I need 35 rafter boards. If I don't have the 35, then I'll saw these down to seven inches wide, and make rafters out of them as well. So anyway, let's get to it. I made this uh, deeper than the lengths, the, the, the length of the forks on the tractor. What I'm going to do is 
pull in here, pick these up, see how many I can pick up without having to unload this by hand. But the whole idea was to be able to get more boards, board foot inside of the kiln. So all of this was hand stacked in there. For smaller loads, I could already have it pre-stacked, strapped down, you know, in, in bundles, and then just set in here for a month or so as it dries. But from the previous video, I had nowhere to stack these boards for the rafters, and that's why I put them in here. And I actually put them in green, and surprisingly enough, uh, on this pine, it normally molds. I am not seeing much mold except for the boards to the very back side that would catch the moisture coming in from the door from the vents. But I'm going to do something different with the vents. Have some that will automatically close down when it gets cool or some type of shutter that I can just, uh, you know, slide shut or something like that. Let's go to the sawmill. <laughs> 